Mr. High Commissioner, Americans for Democracy and the Human Rights in Bahrain, with the support of the Bahrain Institute for Rights and Democracy and the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, would like to thank you for raising your concerns regarding the continued revocation of citizenship and deportation of political opposition, journalists, and civil society members in Bahrain. We share your assessment that profound reforms are still required. Last year, you expressed your alarm that the reports of widespread and systematic torture and collective curl and the human, inhuman treatment of prisoners at Bahrain's Jawa prison. Your office has likewise raised past concerns over intimidation, restrictions or imprisonment against Bahraini religious figures and the human rights defenders like Sheikh Hussein Najati and Nabir Rajab. These concerns have been echoed by substantial cross-regional coalition of states in five subsequent joint statements over the last four years. These states have called on Bahrain to cooperate with your office to address these concerns and to establish substantive program of technical coordination based in the kingdom. Such programs should focus on ensuring accountability, amending restrictive laws, reforming Bahrain's biased judiciary and repressive criminal justice system and reforming Bahrain's deeply flawed human, institution, human rights institutions like the Ombudsman, the National Institute for Human Rights, the BADRC, and the Special Investigation Unit to comply with international standards. We therefore respectfully ask what tangible indications have you received from the government of Bahrain that the government intends to subsequently coordinate with your office to implement legal and institutionalized reforms to uphold international standards of human rights. Thank you, Mr. President.